I've spent two years building different tracking methods. And because of that, I was able to build a simple but automated system that tells you exactly where your clients are dropping off and how to fix it. If you don't measure every stage of your sales process, you're simply flying blind. The most successful agencies don't just track their revenue. They track why they're winning or losing deals so they can fix what's broken and scale what's not. This isn't going to be a how to take better notes in meetings video. I'm going to show you step by step how to track, diagnose, and improve every single part of your sales process so you can increase your close rate. And by the end of this video, I'll test the system out in live time so you can see for yourself how well it works. Once you approve your prospects inquiry, the next step is to get them to book a discovery call. So the first thing we're going to track is the discovery rate. This is the percentage of qualified leads that booked a discovery call. This measures how well your lead generation and qualification process is working. And if this is low, your messaging, your targeting, or maybe even your offer might need some adjustment. Following the discovery rate, you have the follow-up rate. This is the percentage of qualified leads that booked a follow-up call after booking the discovery call this month. Most prospects won't convert on the first interaction. If this is low, you may be losing potential sales because you aren't following up properly. In order to properly follow up with your prospects, you don't want to end the discovery call and then send them an email a few days later reminding them to schedule a follow-up call. You want to book a meeting from your current meeting. So as the discovery call is coming to an end, ask them at what time this week should they continue this conversation. Don't send them the link to schedule the meeting. Book the meeting yourself. Up next, you've got the show rate. This is the percentage of people that showed up to all of your meetings this month. Having a low show rate can mean one of two things. Either your pre-call reminders are slacking or your prospects have little to no urgency to meet with you. Ideally, you don't want people to book meetings too far apart from the present day because that gives them way too long of a time to fill up their calendar and prioritize other things. You want them to book a meeting as soon as possible. You want to remind them as soon as possible that you're going to have a meeting with them. And third, you you want to make it obvious that you're meeting for a reason. Now, I will be making a video on show rate alone in the future, so stay tuned for that. Next to the show rate, we have the pitch rate. This is the percentage of calls you were able to pitch your offer to this month. If you're booking calls but not pitching, you might not be qualifying your leads properly or you might not be positioning your offer too well. Tracking your pitch rate identifies where calls are falling apart. So are you building enough trust and interest before presenting your offer? If you're booking calls, Calls, but not pitching, you might not be qualifying your leads properly or you might not be positioning your offer too well. And last but certainly not least, we've got the closing rate. This is the percentage of leads that booked a closing call after the follow-up call this month. This tells you how well your sales pitch converts prospects into paying clients. If this is low, objection handling, value presentation, or maybe even your pricing may need some improvement. When you track every stage of your sales process, you can diagnose exactly where things are breaking down instead of guessing why sales aren't growing. You can pinpoint whether the issue is lead gen or following up or people are just not showing up to the meeting or maybe you're communicating without conviction during the closing process. All right, so let's go over a live example so you can see how the entire system works in live time. So let me go ahead and actually let me open up my browser here. I'm going to submit this inquiry to capture the lead over on my pipeline here in Notion. And once I capture the lead inside of Notion, I will approve them so that I can receive an automated email. Let me just delete this duplicate one that I have right here. And as you can see, I sent myself a message. So if I open up my browser now and I go to my email, I have the email right here with the link to the discovery call. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on the link right there to open the discovery link and I'm going to book a discovery call. So I'm going to choose 2 p.m., my name, my email, and I'm going to schedule the event, open up Notion again. What I'm going to do is let's say that I am currently in this meeting right now, and let me go up here and move this over to the side just ever so slightly so you can see the show rate and the pitch rate updating in lifetime. So what I do is I'm going to go here and if the prospect attended the meeting, then you're going to obviously click attended, right? And usually what I do when I take these meetings is I click on this button here and then that's going to open up this 
template where I can take the meeting notes and also book a meeting straight from the discovery call so that they don't have to go through the trouble of looking in their calendar if they have some time and then like having them do all the work. You want to make it as frictionless as humanly possible. So what you'll do is straight from the discovery call, you're going to book the follow up call. So what you'll do is you're going to click here and then pick a time and do the exact same thing. Type their name, their email and the type of meeting. In this case, let's do follow up call, schedule event, and you should be good to go. Now that will trigger an automation and then that automation is going to pop open a new meeting over here. As you can see, demo call with Jay, it's a follow up call. And as you can see, the pitch rate has also been updated as well as the show rate. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the exact same thing now with the demo call. Let's say I'm in the demo call. I'm talking to these people and they're ready to move forward to a closing call. So what I'll do is let's go ahead and book another meeting. Let's say Thursday at 1130. And one thing you can do is you can go over here. I actually made it easy for you just so that you don't have to type all this information back. You can just go up here and copy their name and all their information. So you can go name, you can paste it. And then the prospect's email, you want to copy that. You're going to paste it here. And then the meeting type is going to be closing call, schedule event, and you should be good to go. Let's go ahead and zoom in here real quick so you can see all this updating. The discovery rate just went back down to 43%, follow up rate 29%, 57% show rate, 14% pitch rate, and 29% closing rate, right? Because there's only two closing calls in this uh, database right here. This one, they attended it, pitched during the demo call. I mean, you didn't pitch during the demo call because that is what the closing call is going to be for. The closing call, you're going to mark both of these as complete. Now you're going to go back up here and the show rate also now went up and the pitch rate as well. Now, once you've done your pitch, you're going to copy this link right here. So you're on the closing call. doesn't matter which call it is that you're at. Let's see you're on, on the closing call or on the demo call. And what you're going to do is you're going to copy this link and paste it on the Google Meet or Zoom chat. Once they make the payment, the most important part of the sales process begins, and that is the onboarding process. And I'll show you exactly how to do that in this video here.